Hey everyone, I'm really excited. I just finished my clamp storage area. Wanted it organized, I wanted everything visual. So I tried to organize everything from tallest to shortest. I've labeled everything. So for example, I know that these bar clamps are pretty close or exactly to 32 inches. Another thing I did is I added our GPS dots from FastCap. So I have different colored dots that correspond with the clamp. So for example, I've got green here green GPS dot on the clamp. Now, I ran out of colors, not a problem. You can double up, you can put two dots, you can put three dots, however you want. But fortunately, I was able to run over to where we have cruising caps and I grabbed some different colored maple leaves and a Christmas tree because I figured they'd tie in with woodworking. I swear, they are maple leaves, not marijuana leaves. And I labeled everything accordingly. The other thing that I did is I tried to sort everything into these blue bins. These are great because I can take them out. They've got handles, take them over to my assembly area. My assembly area is right here. That's it. Okay. A few steps away and I've labeled each one how I would use it. So for example, spring clamps are labeled spring clamps. I've got corner clamps, face frame clamps, mini bar clamps. I tried to think about whether I'm building furniture or cabinets or doors or windows, whatever I'm going to build, I need to make sure I have those clamps ready to go. They have, each one has a home and they go back beautifully. Things that I can grab, I'm tall. My ceiling is actually quite low down here. So I can grab a Clis clamp real easy. I've got my Swan clamps, my Quick Grips, my Jorgensen's. I've got my aluminum bar clamps back here. I even have a home for my C clamps. So I tried to think, how can I get it easily and quickly? The other thing that I really had to consider was keeping everything up off the floor because I don't want to bend over. So you'll notice almost everything is at waist height or above, except for what I've done is I have a few clamps in this rolling bin and I can grab them, take them over to the workbench. So those are ready to go as well. Another thing I needed to consider was my miter saw station. I love the way my miter saw station is set up. And before I started this project, I could go all the way to the wall. Well, the problem with that is my wood best fence that I have here would be in the way. So if I wanted to get to these clamps, I would run into it. Well, the good thing is the wood best fence has a puzzle piece system built into it. So all I did is I just cut a little piece here fits right into the puzzle piece and it locks right in there. So what I'm also gonna do is I'm gonna build a leveling block that's gonna go right underneath it here. So when I wanna do those 10 foot, 12 foot long runs, I can drop this in and I'm good to go. But since I don't always have to cut boards that long, I can just store it right down here. Once again, trying to make everything as visual as possible. So I hope you like it. If you have questions, feel free to ask them, but so far it's worked great. I've used it on several projects, really haven't run into any issues. So another thing I wanna point out, down on the ground here, there are speed braces holding up this entire shelving unit that supports all of these clamps. There's no stress on it. I don't see any bending anywhere. This is half inch, pre-finished ply, no issues. So here's what's cool about the speed divider. I just take some three quarter stock, Cut a little slot in the back, half inch by half inch. Speed divider just slides right down in there. And I've got a way to organize my clamps.